Today I'm at the Shelby Heritage Center and Museum with my good buddy Gary Patterson. He's showing off some of their latest and greatest masterpieces. Man, I already saw a gorgeous 50th anniversary Shelby Daytona Coupe, and I can't imagine things getting any better than that. But if I know Shelby, they are great at topping themselves. I can't wait to see what's next. Look at this. This is badass. This is the latest Super Snake. This car is stunning. For as long as Ford has been making Mustangs, Shelby has been producing their own souped-up racing versions, giving these classic muscle cars even more muscle. The Ford Mustang may be an American icon, but the Shelby Mustang is an American legend. Fast forward 50 years, and Shelby is still keeping this tradition alive with their 2016 Mustang Super Snake. The Shelby Super Snake name is reserved for the most sought-after and extreme modification of the Ford Mustang platform. With an option of up to 750 horsepower, this thing really lives up to its name. Add in a beautiful wide body stance and so much aerospace quality carbon fiber, NASA would be jealous. And you've got a drop dead looker with power under the hood to back it up. What does something like this go for? Your base car is going to run you, you know, 40, 45, and the upfit package is about 50, so you're in 100 grand. You're in 100 grand? Yeah. To me, that's very fairly priced on Oh, yeah, like for this. a car that's that kind of power. The body mods on this are so tasteful, and the car just looks so stout. I tell you what, I love the color combination, everything on this car. The wheels, that 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 gray, that silver gray, it's just gorgeous, that interior. Well, I'm glad you like it. Oh, it's just gorgeous. This is a bitchin' surprise. Yeah. But we got something even more. Let's go. All right, man. Oh, my gosh, let's go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, that is the surprise. Dude. It is the original style, all aluminum, one of the 50, 50th anniversary Daytona. You're kidding me. That's not some sort of funky wrap. That's no, an no, no, aluminum no, 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 car. No. That is hand form an aluminum body and spend 500 hours polishing. You're kidding. Oh, yeah. I mean, the first 50th anniversary Shelby Daytona we saw was totally mind-blowing, but this girl looks like she could blast off to another galaxy. The mad geniuses here at Shelby came up with a new exterior design made of polished aluminum that not only reduces the car's overall body weight, but also makes it look like a piece of art. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the baddest car on the road? This thing. Gary, this car is... I can't find the words, bro. Well, you know what? It's... I can see the look on your face because it's right there. <laughs> I can see it, too. <laughs> I can sense that it is a tighter package. So dimensionally, smaller. she's a little smaller. Yeah. So what does she come in weighing at? About 2,100. 2,100 pounds. pounds. Yeah. That's nothing. It's nothing. That's nothing. Yeah. And, and how much engine we got in this? Well, place? about 500 horses. So at 500 horse, and 2,100 pounds. Yeah. The power to weight ratio on this car is staggering. Yeah. And what you see here, 347 cubic inch small block Ford, aluminum heads, oh my Weber God. carburetors, just the same way as it was. What would this cost? You're going to end up with 440 or so in it. 440K. Yeah. It's worth every penny. And the ones we build in the 60s are going for 20, 30 million, million. dollars. Yeah. This does nothing but increase in value. Right. First try. Done. How's it sound? You know, I'm glad you asked that. Why don't we take it forward here? Now, you want to? Straight up Cobra yep, latch. Yeah, straight Cobra latch. Just hop All in. All right. Oh, yeah. OK. Uh, you, know, you know what I love? That this is just 100% raw race car. We got to turn the battery on. Safety, so, yep, yep. Safety, OK? Nice. So you can hear that. Now okay. we got some power. OK. Now let's uh, kick in the fuel pumps, right? Love it, love it. OK, let's see if these Webers will work. I could just look at these Shelbys all day, but there is nothing, and let me tell you, I mean nothing like getting in one and letting it rip. You know, every performance car maker owes a debt of gratitude to Shelby, and to be able to come out here today and actually ride around in one badass machine like that, well, that's just a dream come true. 
This thing ain't nothing but trouble. Oh, it's trouble. This is nothing but trouble. 